Thank you. Awfully glad to see you back, Jerry. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Ross. Hi, Jim. Welcome home, Jerry. Thank you. Mom. Oh, Mom. Well, you look wonderful. And I feel like she looks. Hey, Pop. How are you? Oh, come on. You'll never be too old for that. <laughs> All day long, I had a feeling you'd be home for the holidays. Well, what do you mean, feeling? I sent you a telegram. Didn't you get it? David Golding, you got a telegram from Jerry and didn't tell me? I didn't want to worry you. He said he was getting a lift in a jet plane. Mm, it's better I didn't know. Anyway, you're home. Home for good. It is for good. Oh, you bet. And I got the paper to prove it, too. I'll keep it. You lose things. <laughs> Welcome home, Jerry. Well, thank you, Doctor. It's nice to be home. Honorably discharged. They all say that, Ruth. Not with his name. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry, take your mother home. I must speak to the Board of Trustees for a moment. Okay, Pop. Oh, Mom. You look wonderful. You said that before. Okay, you're beautiful and I love you. I like that better. Uncle Louie. Welcome home, Thank Jerry. You. It's good to have you back. Thank you. It's nice to be back. And by the way, the guys sure do love you. Thanks for the salami. You know, you personally fed Squadron D for two months. I got a slogan. Send a salami to your boy in the army. <laughs> <laughs> See you at the house, Jerry. Okay, Uncle. Say, Mom, you suppose Papa mind? Uh, I got an appointment. Uh, I mean, a friend of mine's in Philadelphia just for tonight, and I promised to say hello. Um, I know it's New Year's Eve, but I'll be back in time. Do I know who she is? Oh, I didn't say it was a she. <laughs> What's her name? <laughs> oh, Mom. <laughs> Happy New Year, Mrs. Golding. Thank you. I've uh, asked you gentlemen of the Board of Trustees to see me tonight because, well, you know I've been wanting to retire for quite some time. And now that my son is back from Korea, I'd like to ask your permission to tell him that he can succeed me as cantor of our temple. David, excuse me, are you sure Jerry wants to be a cantor? He's been away two years now. Young men change. Need I remind you, gentlemen, that since 1790, every cantor of the Sinai Temple has been a Golding? From my father, all the way back to his great-great-grandfather. Jerry was born and educated to become a cantor. He's dedicated to the temple. It's where he belongs. David, I speak not only for myself, but for the Board of Trustees. We'll be proud and honored to have Jerry succeed you as the next cantor. 